Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We are hanging out inside the greenhouse at Merlin's Greenhouse and Flowers in Oregon with Tyler. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming out. How do you walk around here and not hit your head? I hit it 20 <laughs> times a day. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most important question. I mean, we're going to talk about flowers, but I just looked up at you and I was like, well, how did they do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We well, we're glad you're still here with us. You didn't knock yourself out <laughs> this morning. Tyler, you guys have so much happening and you actually, you're, you manage the greenhouse, right? You do, yep. And what exactly is your day-to-day -day like? I spend my whole day behind a hose. <laughs> we got 14,000 square feet here. Um, we got the whole tables filled, mm -hmm. hanging baskets hung. We got almost 1,600 hanging baskets this wow. year. So I literally start in the front and water all the way to the back. We're usually here late trying to get it all wrapped up. So. And this is a perfect time for you to be working a lot because May and June is when everyone wants to get all these flowers and plants in their house, right? You bet. Yep. We're trying to get them all ready and get them ready for the plant or for the homeowner to Absolutely. take care of them. So why do you think you know people should come here to get their plants and flowers this year? Well, we try to, you know, be super high quality. We're using like a mycorrhiza and a biofungicide to help all those clients when they get home. Basically a protective layer on their roots to kind of help them from overwatering or underwatering. Um, we spend tons of time pruning things back, pinching things, making sure they're nice and full. Um, and we just have probably one of the biggest selections around in annuals, perennials, and veggies and herbs. There's so much happening in here, like whether you want to just pick by color, which is something I would do. <laughs> um, all of the colors are represented as well as a ton of other plants. You want to tell me about the Vermillionaire? Yeah, Vermillionaire. It is one of our probably biggest selling hummingbird plants. Okay. Um, we have a huge pollinator selection this year. We're trying to really put an emphasis on it just because the bees have been kind of dying back. So we're encouraging people to try to get in here, check out our pollinators. Not only are they for the bees, but they're for butterflies and the hummingbirds, oh, cool. um, which for Millionaire is probably one of the best hummingbird plants out there. It's also just like really fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so fun to say. And what about all the veggies and herbs that you mentioned? I know you have tomatoes, which is my favorite, it's my favorite food is literally tomatoes, but you got other stuff here, what else you got? Oh yeah, we have over 42 different varieties of herbs this year that we are running on special this month. They're a four and a half inch container. They're gonna be $3.99, or if you buy a dozen of them, you get them for $39.99. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, heck of a deal. What do you think is, do you have like a favorite plant here, or a favorite oh. one that you, like a new one, or something, my something favorite? My favorite probably would be the popcorn plant. Okay. Uh, the kids love it. It has a yellow flower that looks just like buttered popcorn. It's got a little tiny hull on it. Um, it's super fragrant. So Does it, it smell like popcorn? It smells just like popcorn. You get a windy day or when you go to water it and it hits the leaves, it just puts off this beautiful aroma. But you can't eat it. Can't eat it. Okay, just <laughs> really important information there. Don't eat your popcorn plant, but yeah. you can get it right here. And we have a really huge party happening soon. Huge the garden party. party. Yep, yep. Tell us about it. Garden party is April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Everything will be 20% off out here. Um, it'll get you ready for buying early. Make sure we have quantities of it and get your containers ready to go. What do you think is like a plant that everyone should be buying this year? Is there anything like trendy for this year or just something that's like easy to grow for somebody who's new, easy to take care of? Um, yeah, begonias okay. are a huge highlight. We really went out on a limb. I think we got over 20 different varieties of begonias. Cool. They're super low maintenance. They take it super dry and they just bloom their little hearts out all summer long. We like low maintenance things. I also <laughs> like right in front of me, I know it's a Snapdragon, but it's called the Snaptini mix. And that makes me think that, you know, and have a martini and water your snap teeny. What's, what's the difference between this and a regular snapdragon? So these are actually just miniatures. Oh, cute. They're only gonna get like 12 to 14 inches tall, stay nice and tight. Um, the other varieties get upwards of 24 to 30 inches tall. Now, a lot of people wanting to add plants and herbs and veggies to their life, even if they do like live in an apartment, so whether it's inside or outside. So these smaller plants are actually like really cool for this year. Totally, yep. And we got tons of tropicals right now. Um, you can bring in your house and enjoy them until cool. you know really Mother's Day, and then you can transition those outside into awesome. your containers. That's good to know because you don't necessarily want everything outside just yet. Correct. Yep. And you Still guys have a, early. a ton of stuff inside um, Merlin's, like sure. fun things you might want to buy. And then across the street is the other side. Yep. A ton of really cool like clothing and gifts and all that there too, right? Oh yeah. You name it, we got it. 
So in case anyone doesn't know where exactly we are, remind me. I know we're in Oregon, but producer Danica drove us here. <laughs> uh, we are kind of offset. Um, we're at 300 Mixed Street, Oregon, Illinois. Um, the VFW is literally right across the street. If you're there, you can see us. Perfect. Well, thank you for having us today. You bet. Thank you. Also, for the rest of April, you can actually get 20% off at Merlin's if you mention State Line. So how cool is that? Your Good Day Calendar Task and uh, your GDS giveaway are next.